challenges. I'd been there about six or seven weeks, and I said, uh, Guruji, all my life, I heard, thou canst not, thou shalt not, thou must not. Uh, these are the rules of the religious teachings that I've heard of around my relatives. What I want to know from you is, what canst thou? He said, well, do you smoke? And I said, yes. He said, you may continue. Do you drink alcohol? I said, yes. He said, you may continue. Do you enjoy the opposite sex promiscuously? Yes. Well, you may continue. I said, wait a minute. You mean that I can come up on this hill here in this good place with all of these wonderful people, your disciples and the devotees and the brothers up here and, and, and study these teachings and I can go back down there and, and do all these things? Absolutely. But I will not promise you that as you continue to study these teachings, that the desire to do these things will not fall away from you. Repeated performance of an action creates a mental blueprint causing the formation of subtle electrical pathways in the brain, somewhat like the grooves in a phonograph record. Your life follows the grooves that you yourself have created in the brain. It appears that Yogananda was talking about neuroplasticity almost 50 years before Western doctors took an interest in it. He said that regular Kriya practice could rewire your brain and help eliminate unwanted habits. The autobiography of a yogi is the book that I keep stacks of them around the house and 